Good morning everybody, welcome back to my vlog channel. So as I'm sure you can already tell from the title and the thumbnail and the fact I have my Disney jammies on, today's video is very much Disney inspired. I'm going to be trying for 24 hours to only eat Disney recipes from Disney movies that I'm going to try and recreate and make at home. Also, two things to note. One, I'm becoming a little bit obsessed with these food 24 hour videos because honestly, it makes me try lots of new foods and I really, really love that. And number two, this video is once again sponsored by Pouch. I am so happy to be working with them. Again, there is a link in my description and I'll talk to you all about Pouch in a little bit, but for now, it's breakfast time and I'm going to be making a breakfast from my absolute all-time favorite Disney movie, it's Mulan. And in that movie, she wakes up to porridge with bacon and two eggs. You can sit here in your favorite spot in the cupboard. The eggs are the part that I'm most nervous for. I feel like it's very hard to mess up I mean, I'm saying this, I could be jinxing myself, but I feel like it's very hard to mess up porridge and bacon. But getting those fried eggs to look like nice fried eggs and not just a mess, I feel like that could be, that could be difficult. <gasps> I have never been more stressed cooking an egg. Okay, I got this egg practically perfect. I am so happy with how that looks. I have just tried to do it again. It is not happening. Meanwhile, the fire alarm went off because the bacon is there and I hadn't put the fan on and my porridge is overcooking because I'm trying to do these eggs so much. I've never failed harder at making breakfast. I'm gonna go for the left eye there. Oh my goodness. And this egg looks so bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right, I feel like I need to cut this bacon into shape. Does this work better if I do it like this? <laughs> I think that works. Look, you get porridge and it's happy to see you. Look, you get porridge and it's happy to see you. So this is my breakfast. I'm so happy with how that went. Um, well, I'm happy with the final product. The actual cooking, I don't think I've ever made so much mess or struggled so much to make an egg and bacon anything ever. Like, it's a mess. I've used like four different pans. I've got utensils everywhere. It's just an absolute mess. I will say I have had egg on porridge before. It's actually really great. I've never had bacon on porridge, but here's a first. It's pretty darn good. Bacon on porridge, it's really quite good. I used all the eggs and the next recipe I wanted to make requires eggs. So Nick has popped out quickly to get eggs because my car's broken. Um, meanwhile, I thought I would come upstairs, get changed and talk to you about Pouch. Let's talk about Pouch. So Pouch is a free desktop browser extension that you install onto your computer and then it automatically finds discount codes whenever you shop online. For example, when I knew I was going to be filming this video, I obviously needed to do a food shop. So I headed online to Sainsbury's, put a ton of stuff in my shopping cart and when I clicked on checkout, pouch popped up and let me know I could save £10 on my order because I'd spent more than £60. I didn't know that discount code was available, pouch popped up, let me know, I clicked apply codes and I'd save £10 with absolutely minimal effort. So I definitely do think you should install Pouch. Not only does it work on Sainsbury's, it works on over 3,000 different UK websites. So Sainsbury's included, but also ASOS, Boohoo, Amazon, John Lewis, Debenhams, just the works. Honestly, it works on so many different websites. It is so quick and easy to install. Make sure you do pin it to your browser and I will have a link down below that will take you over to the Pouch page so you can install it and start saving money online. Now I'm gonna get changed and we're gonna go make some more food because Nick has just got home with the eggs. But I have my Disney top on and it's time for us to move on to the next recipe. And for the next item of food, we're going to be trying to make the gray stuff. Now I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know this existed, um, but apparently this is from Beauty and the Beast and it's like a minute little line in the film where um, the little chandelier guy, what's his name? He's not a chandelier at all, he's a candle. Um, and he's called Lumiere. Anyway, little Lumiere during like one of the songs says, try the gray stuff. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious. Didn't know that was a thing, but apparently they made it a thing in Disney World and they started making the gray stuff. And now there's a recipe. So I'm going to try and make the gray stuff. So we're gonna make some cupcakes. I have lined my cupcake tin and I'm gonna be using the good old Betty Crocker red velvet cake mix making this into cupcakes. I'm gonna chop the cupcake down into a little a cupcake, plop that on top of a biscuit, and then squirt some creamy stuff around it. But the first thing I need to do is the cupcakes. Now, I'm really hoping this goes red. 
I don't remember making one of these before. I'm almost sure and certain that I have, but with my memory, who knows? I don't know whether I've made a red velvet cake mix before and whether it's actually gone red. All I know is I made that pink shortbread that one time and it did not go pink. So we're gonna hope for the best. Cupcakes are in the oven. The next thing to do is to blend Oreos. I'd say that was finely ground. Oh, I don't know if that's fine enough. Do you think that's fine enough yet? I feel like it could go a bit finer. So this goes mixed with this. Let me make a plate of, of biscuits. Oh no, these are tiny. Oh dear. Okay, the ones they used were definitely bigger than this. Oh no, they're so small. The gray stuff is frosting and Oreos, but they didn't put on the recipe how much of each. They said about eight Oreos, about, and frosting. So I don't really know how much of each I need. <gasps> it actually has gone like a really good gray color. Okay, okay, I can do this. Faith restored. Oh, it looks more brown now. I think a ton more frosting. Yeah, it's helping. Okay, 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 I've got this. Let's see what we can do with this cupcake. I'm thinking I'm just gonna chop a teeny little bit. <laughs> I've got a dinky little cupcake. Okay, come on. That's not bad. I'm supposed to pipe the jam onto the cookie, but that's a waste of a piping bag, surely. I'm just gonna put a little bit of jam on the cookie. It's just to hold my cupcakey thingy in place. That's all it's for. A little bit on my cookie. Like this. I'm just gonna plonk this on there. Like that. Then I put a little bit of jam on top and then we pipe the icing around it. I'm still not good at piping though. Maybe I'm okay. Maybe I'm okay. Okay, I've made some grey stuff. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go eat it. Here is my grey stuff from Beauty and the Beast. I'm not really too sure how I'm supposed to eat this. I feel like this is gonna go all over my face. But I made the grey stuff from Beauty and the Beast. And we're just gonna... I, I feel like I need to get a bite of everything. Oh! Mm -mm. Oh! <gasps> Oh no, I don't want to know. But it's delicious though. It's very jammy dodgery with the jam and the biscuit and then just a yummy layer of icing. It's great. So for lunch, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some spaghetti bolognese with meatballs as seen on The Lady and the Tramp. Lunch is served. I have spaghetti meatballs. Now, it looks bare. I get that. But if you actually go and look at Lady and the Tramp and the picture, this is what it looks like. There is like three meatballs and like the tiniest amount of sauce. Normally, I would smother my spaghetti bolognese in the sauce, but this is what it looks like they're eating. So this is my lunch. I am gonna go ahead and make a start on my dinner now. I've never had less faith in myself that this will go well. Like, never had less faith. I honestly think this is just going to be a disaster. I feel like it will taste good, maybe, but the actual presentation of it, I, I have low hopes. This is what I'm going for. It's the Ratatouille dish from Ratatouille. Uh, I just, I just don't see it working. Tomatoes, they're a decent size and they're roughly the same size as my courgette. We're off to a great start. And then the aubergine comes along and it's, it's quite a bit bigger. But I feel like, you know, it's okay, we can deal with that. Um, but then I picked up a yellow squash. <laughs> and this was the only yellow squash they had. This is not a similar diameter. Like, I don't even feel like this is gonna fit on my machine. I found some yellow courgette. Do we think I could maybe get away with using yellow courgette instead of squash. Because honestly, this isn't too bad of a size compared to my other veggies, but that squash is just something else. Let's see what this is like. 
Oh goodness. What have I signed up for? I'm gonna need to wash this blade. Gosh, I'm just gonna try and... How thin are they? Oh, they look perfect. Oh boy. Do you know what? Faith is restored. Oh no. I don't think that went well. Oh no. Oh no. Why did that fail so badly? I think I've got it. Wait. Look how big they are, comparatively. And that's the small end of the aubergine. The aubergine is way too big for this. What a weird shape. This yellow squash is great. It has a little handle for me to hold as I do this. It's amazing. I'm a little worried it's just gonna be juice everywhere. But we're gonna try. Oh, it doesn't slice very well. And the tomato's not really working. I should have just had more faith in my chopping abilities. I feel like they're very even slices and I'm very proud of myself right now. So I'm just gonna pour some bolognese sauce into the bottom. I'm just gonna stand these up in it. Wow, this is laborious. I'm so happy with myself. Perfect is what that is. So it now says to do a little drizzle of oil, salt and pepper, and put it in the oven. I don't know how long for. The recipe is in the oven that can take up to an hour. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and make my dessert, which I'm gonna put a picture of on the screen. It's from Sleeping Beauty, and it's basically a leaning tower cake type thing, but we all know how bad I am at cake making. So I bought some donuts and we're gonna go ahead and just try the simple way of stacking some donuts so that they look like they're kind of falling over and covering them in blue, yellow and white icing sugar. Ooh, this looks, this looks good already. What an excellent cheat. So they're predominantly white with a little bit of blue around them and then around the very top, a little bit of yellow. That might be perfect. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Okay, let's just try and ice one donut. Let's just see how this, oh, let's just see how this goes. Feel like I'm doing a half decent job here. I also feel like this is a huge mess and I regret my life choices. Go here. Wait, I haven't put the blue icing on. Oh, this is a disaster. This is a disaster. Oh gosh, what's happened here? There's a hole in my piping bag. I have a hole in my piping bag and it's not good. This is a mess. However, the one in the picture is also a mess. So uh, I feel okay about it, kind of. Okay, well, at least it's standing. Or is it falling? <gasps> is it falling? Is it actually falling? Or does it look like it's falling? Have I done a really, really good job? Or is it just falling over? I can't tell. <gasps> turn it on the tower has fallen what a disaster we may we may have fixed this a little bit wait i need to see a picture my hands are so grubby my phone is sticky my camera is sticky it's a bad time your thoughts <laughs> i mean it's stable it's standing up at the very least um it's a disaster but i feel like it's meant to look like one and i think i think i've done a decent job of this, whatever this is supposed to be. Here's my terrible, terrible leaning tower of pizza cake. Um, I'm actually a little bit impressed with it. I'm not gonna lie, it's standing up and that's something. My dinner isn't even ready and this is not gonna stay until it is. So I'm gonna have a donut. Oh dear. That's a lot of icing and dinner's ready. Oh my gosh. In the movie, it looks like a little stack. Let me just get a photo just to double check. I don't even think this will stand up. Oh no, it's already collapsing. I haven't thought this through. I don't know what to do from here. I'm gonna take it. I take it. I made ratatouille. It's the tiniest portion ever. I don't even know if this is done. Mmm. Undercooked vegetables. That isn't fully cooked. <laughs> it's 
so that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I really, really do hope you enjoyed. Don't forget there is a link in the top line of my description that will take you straight to Pouch so that you can install it on your desktop. It is completely free, it's easy to install, and uh, I'd love you to go and install it. But yes, this is where I leave you. As I said, I do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.